Greetings, New Bedford Public Schools community. I appreciate your time for the next few minutes. I'll briefly touch on school reopening, the COVID positivity rates, athletics, and a couple of other items. First, this past week, people across America celebrated the life of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. As a father of a daughter, Justice Ginsburg will always be a powerful role model for her. She represents what girl power means and has inspired girls and women everywhere to be persistent and to use their voices to influence change, to make our world a more equitable place. The social issues that we face will not improve unless we empower and develop our girls to be fighters for inclusivity and equity for all people. On another note, I want to congratulate Condon Elementary School students, staff, and families for being named a National Blue Ribbon School that was selected out of more than 130,000 schools across the country. It's a great honor for them. Congratulations. We entered our third week of Cohort A students in person, and thanks to your diligence as parents and everyone following precautions with mask wearing, the physical distancing, we've been able to keep the teaching and learning process moving forward. Thank you. Parents, please continue checking students daily before they leave for school. Please do not send sick students to school. Remember, Monday, October 5th is when Cohort B begins. These students include pre-K, kindergarten, sixth grade, and ninth grade students. Students in Cohort C and D will continue to participate in New Bedford Public Schools Distance Learning Academy. By now, all families should have been contacted by their schools to ensure that they've received all their cohort information. If not, please contact your school today. We work daily with health officials to monitor the positivity rate in the city. Although New Bedford's classification is still red, we're hopeful that with the recent downward trend, we may shift out of red in the coming days. The recent reports show the, the positivity percentile continues to decrease and is getting closer to where we were a few weeks ago. We pay close attention to these spikes as they have been mostly isolated. We are closely following the fluctuation of the positivity cases in the city and will continue to use specific data to determine our next steps. Remember, as I previously shared, we will use three to four weeks of data to inform our decisions. We are implementing our reopening plan as outlined. However, we are prepared to make any immediate shifts if necessary. Again, parents, communication is always important and even more so as you prioritize everyone's health and safety. So please opt in to the text messages from New Bedford Public Schools to ensure that you are informed. Our technology team is aggressively supporting schools to help families with connectivity and device issues. We're working with Comcast and the Sprint One Million program to help provide internet to families. Being connected is a key to student success. Also, bus routes are being finalized and bus passes are being emailed. Remember, if your student qualifies for school bus transportation, please go to the transportation tab on New Bedford Public Schools website. So newbedfordschools.org to register. Athletics began last week with a lot of restrictions in place. Our students are doing a wonderful job following them, thanks to our coaches and their hard work and dedication to make sure our students have a season this coming fall. We are working on a plan to allow a small number of fans into home games. My focus is to maintain safety for everyone. So like the athletes, those spectators will have passes to enter and will be required to wear a mask and maintain appropriate distance. There's more information to come about that. Our air exchange review is complete and we have been working on making improvements to the identified spaces over the last several weeks. The reports are available on our website. So please visit and you can read the import, the, all of the reports in their entirety. In regard to school resource officers, in the coming weeks we'll conduct four discussions soliciting feedback from staff, students, parents, and community members to get a comprehensive view of the school resource officer program that exists here in New Bedford Public Schools. So please stay tuned for the, for the dates for this very important discussion. Our partnership with Walgreens to offer drive-by flu clinics begins on October 1st at Keith Middle School's back parking lot. It's from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and this is for Keith Middle School and New Bedford High School students, staff, and families. There will be more clinics to come, so again, stay tuned for more dates. Also, it's critically important at this time to remember to be counted. 
the 2020 census, again, please visit my2020census.gov. No matter who you live with, everyone in your home needs to be counted. This determines how much money we get for our schools, our parks, our roads, hospitals, other services, police officers, firefighters, and all needed services throughout the city. So complete the census information now for your school and for your city. So you have the power to make a difference. So please get counted today. Also, don't miss our attendance video featuring wrestler superstar Big E on New Bedford Public Schools Attend to Win. So visit our homepage and social media site to get more information about the attendance piece. Remember, our health guidance is available on our New Bedford Public Schools website with links to the CDC, Massachusetts Department of Education, and other resources. Contact tracing is spelled out on there, so please take a minute to visit and read. Again, thank you for your continued understanding and patience as you work together to benefit all of our students and staff. Contact your school with any questions and continue to check the New Bedford Schools website to see our reopening plan and any other health information. So again, check Facebook and you can always call our family support line at 508-997-4515 with questions or the need for any other information. So working to keep our families up to date and your understanding again is appreciated as your support of New Bedford Public Schools. So continue to think of others, keep your distance, and mask up. Thank you.